My name is Tucker Volk, and I am a viticulturist at Fruition Sciences. Um, today I'm going to walk you through the uh, water deficit index and how to interpret um, what is going on and predict irrigations out in the future. Uh, first of all, how I get to this page is I just click on reports, a single block analysis, and then there's an advanced button here under fruit to expand this list. And I selected the block I wanted and the parameters I wanted. Uh, so the first of all, the green line is evaporative demand, and the red line is vine transpiration calculated off of the sap flow. Uh, below that, we have water deficit index, and this is a relationship between these two lines up top. Um, at this time of the season, this is what most of you all are seeing, and it is at the plateau where max canopy is hit, and the crop coefficient has been set by each block. And we see this as a plateau um, in this data. And this rise is due to the increase in leaves unfolding and the increase of water use. As time goes on, uh, we will see this decline as the plant uses water. Um, here is what a typical entire season looks like. And here again, we see that increase in canopy, the plateau at KC, and the decline. And here what we want to do is actually look at the slope of this decline. And here it is about 20% every five days. And it can really help you predict to where you're going to be out in the future and that first point of stress. Uh, so in this case, we're at 5% a day here. And then we're at another or 20% every five days here, and then another 20% every five days here, and then another 20% here. And this is a point of stress, and the irrigation is hit. It jumps back up to 100%, and you know that's when you've applied enough water. And we see that that 20% every five days carries after the irrigation. So this can really help you predict out into the future, um, you know, if you know you're going to be below you know your 40 percent threshold during a heat wave then it may be smart to irrigate before the heat wave if not then you may want to wait till after the heat wave uh, to irrigate and reassess where you are uh, this is actually one of our most stressed um, vineyards and you can see that this client got away with uh, six irrigations and the irrigations occurred at each of these uh, valleys um, a lot of you will not have this um, aggressive of declines. And this graph here is a typical dry farm vineyard. And here we actually see it only loses about 1% or less a day. And it was able to be carried out into, through the entire season uh, without any irrigations. Um, that is it for today. Please, please feel free to uh, reach out if you have any questions. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys in the future.